Yeah, we're finally in Euro Truck after a long time of seeing how it do it, we're here. So I have a bunch of mods that I just kind of ended up picking up uh, while I was waiting for the game to install. There they all are. Uh, if you want them, Google the name. Hopefully you'll find it. Probably, that's, that's basically how to be. Because I don't, I don't know. I found them literally doing that, Googling mods. I didn't keep track of what I downloaded from them. I'm like, oh, this looks interesting. It's probably not a virus. And I clicked it. So this is my picture. It pretty much resembles me. A miserable fuck. It's just, oh, I was just, just done with life, you know. Just fuck this shit. I think one of the mods, yep, see, this is Mercedes Benz instead of Majestic, like I normally would. It's a nice mod. However, as an American, the only brand I can really recognize that would be actually in the game, since this would be Majestic and not Mercedes Benz, normally, is Volvo. I, I, I've never ridden in any other, like I've never ridden in a truck. I've been in a Freightliner, but this is Euro Truck Simulator, not America Truck Simulator. There's no Freightliners. So that's that's the closest because I've been in a Volvo car. So we're gonna pick the fire. I'm gonna name it YBR Burns Your Shit. Yeah. All right, create. All right, we'll go to keyboard, real automatic, finish wizard. There are a couple of things I need to probably poke at and tweak before we actually can play. So you'll have to excuse me, I'm going to do that live because it shouldn't take more than, I don't know, 30 seconds. Alright, so we have the Going East add-on and the TSM map. It has both of them. So the Going East add-on is basically this section uh, right here in the middle of the map. That's kind of the added in area. So just to get the most use out of the Going East, we're going to basically start in the corners, most eastward location there is up in Poland, that uh, Bialyska. Stock, Bailey Stock. Yeah, I can't pronounce that. I'm not, I mean, I tried. I shouldn't have, because I probably offended somebody out there. I at least tried. We're not gonna do the tutorial. I know how to drive a truck. You hit the gas. You hit the, you know. Welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2. At last, you have the chance to experience your dream job. Driving a truck. That is not my dream job. My dream job is to work at a refinery. But that's close enough, I guess. I mean, I could transport gas for a refinery, that's pretty close, right? Your own transportation company is now open for business, but sadly you lack the money to buy a truck. Why the fuck am I even opening if I don't have a truck? For now, you have to work for other companies as a driver for hire. Your task is to safely deliver a load of apples to transit net dock in Ballystock. Ballystock. I can't pronounce this shit. Why'd I pick Poland? Should have picked a. Uh, the England or something. I could pronounce like London and Jefferson, uh, all those ones up there. You know, I could pronounce those. Poland. It's like, what the fuck is that say? Uh, uh, your employer has provided you with the vehicle and will cover all expenses. Don't let anyone down and arrive on time. Oh, there it's loading. Let's see, is it? All right, trailers. Oh, listen to that. Animals. Alright, so here we are. We're gonna go off. We have the trailer already attached. They have a left hand drive car, which is great news now. There's no music here, so I need to turn that on. This music I have is all the stuff that YouTube now will supply you for free to use in your videos from YouTube. You don't have to be partnered or anything anymore to have this, so can't go wrong with that. So I just have them all plopped into a folder. We're going to alphabetical order. The first one is a 1812 Overture by, uh, uh, how do you pronounce that? Uh, Trikops Trikovsky? I think, like, I took a, a music class uh, a while ago, and I should be able to pronounce that. Tchaikovsky. Anyways, that's the music we're going to have in the background. They're, they're not all classical, mind you. It's just that one's the first one there, and the next one is Ninth Symphony by uh, Beethoven. So it'll be classical for a while. <laughs> and options, there is one or two gameplay things I'm going to put on. I need the automatic exhaust brake and automatic retard, because I am too retarded to retard on my own. And air brake simulation, sure. Rain probability, we'll put that in the middle. Instead of like barely rains, it rains sometimes. Braking intensity, maximum. So we're going to just brake so goddamn hard. Let's see, is there anything else I need to tweak? Uh, no? Oh, uh, steering sensitivity is maxed out. And uh, it's not in miles per hour. Those are some things I've changed before when I was just tweaking the settings. Graphics are, I don't think they say. Ultra!
Woo! Yes. Prepare for lag. And the resolution is just a native of my uh, monitor. All right, 30 FPS, we're good to go. So I have very touchy steering, as you see, and that's the way I prefer it. All right, let's see, this one, see, one of the reasons I like the Volvos is I learned this when I was messing with things. The Volvos have a built-in GPS system, so I can actually say, get rid of that and I can just look at the one built into the truck and I can get rid of the mirrors and now it's like full immersion holy shit that braked hard alright stop here so I can actually see shit nobody coming there blinker on because I forgot it looks clear it looks clearer it wasn't fully clear but it's close enough alright we're going good like I'm proud of that this is a very short delivery. Like, really, this is short as hell. Now, the only problem, I don't know how well that speedometer is. How accurate is that? Because I know there was something with speedometers being inaccurate. Like, yeah, look at that. That's actually on it, so that's good. And the speed limit was 50. Oh my goodness, these brakes. I love that. It, like, brakes like a fucking supercar. Alright, so we'll just set cruise control to 50 because that was the last speed limit I saw, and now we're at a light, so I have to stop. Shit. Ha! <laughs> That's some stopping. I have, a uh, the realistic, realistic, I, my ass, that's way too fast to stopping, but, uh, realistic physics mod of some sorts is supposed to make it more realistic. Don't know how much realistic it is. I mean, it's getting more dramatic because we're about to finish this delivery. Yes. Oh, whoops. That's not what I meant to hit. Not, not what I meant to hit either. Uh, F5. There we go. So I can see where they need to turn in. Wait for it. Wait for it. Brakes. Damn. Oh, it has one of those little mirrors you can look at to see where you're lined up. How's that? It's pretty good. It's good enough for me, you know. Better to be behind the line than over it. The blinker on. Go! I know I went before it was green, but this thing takes a second to accelerate. I think it brakes faster than it accelerates, which is quite amazing. For something that weighs so much, I wouldn't expect that. The only problem is I brake so hard, I'm just like, every time I try to slow down, I just come to a complete stop because of my settings. Oh, come on. Let me get through. Hurry up. Now, one of the main reasons I got these settings is because I remember when I first played this game. Or it was the Scania one, maybe? Scania? Blech. Never pronounced that right, ever. Uh, I had some trouble with backing up and stuff because the steering wheel was too slow. Like, I'd be holding left and I would still be going right and it would always throw me off. So we're going to use this view to try to back this thing up. This whole cab just bounces every time I accelerate. There we go. We're parked. All on my own. I think I hit the back, but it doesn't matter. Excellent. Do you see that? That's really abnormal. You should be concerned. We'll level one now. It's good news. Good news. That's my HQ. Don't fuck with it. Pretty basic garage, but it's a start. You haven't got anything to park there yet, so there are no trucks in sight. Aww. Once you've earned enough money and bought a truck, you'll be able to move in the world freely and run your own business here. Good luck. Alright, so let's just, uh, let's see. I could get a loan, probably. How do you get loans? How do you get loans? Skills. Ooh, I got a skill I could use. Let's see. High value. Uh... Fragile, 
important, and then eco. So if I was to go to the job market, and, uh, let's see, is it, does it say which ones are, like, high value? Standard delivery, there we go. Standard delivery, standard delivery. Like, I'm assuming that's what that little green triangle means. They're all standard delivery. So, back to skills. Since there's nothing, they'll make use of that. Let's see, we got all the different ways, the different new things I could get. They call it ADR. I'm assuming that's some uh, European standard of sorts, because I've never heard of ADR. I know of a... Uh, shit, I need to get my Twit card. <laughs> In real life, I need to get a Twit card still. So it's, uh, that's for the, the transportation of uh, chemicals and shit. I need one of those. Uh, what was I? And it says I'm not a terrorist. I promise I'm not. Since none of these really seem as a usable option, it says... Let's see, long distance. There's a maximum distance you can travel on duty. Oh! So this means I can do longer deliveries. And then this one is... Okay, so I see. So it's... I have to get one of these before I could get the... The base... The higher reward thing. Alright, so this one has a... 20% bonus... For finishing an important... Experience bonus for finishing an important delivery. This is... So this one has higher percents overall, but it's harder to probably do. That one has a higher percent, but that's a lot of driving. Um, I'm not paying for fuel, so I won't worry about that yet, at least. I guess we could do just in time, because my strong suit would probably be going fast. All right, company. Can't go to the bank yet. I think I need to get like an email from them first. So for now, we'll take another job. And then let's see. Pretty short. And yeah, not a lot of money for it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the dollars per kilometer are all pretty much the same. That's the most important to me. Euros per kilometer, if you're going to be picky about it. So we'll just... Which one lets me drive a uh, Volvo? Can't tell. It's like, I'm not good at identifying trucks. Uh, let's see. Let's see this one. Uh, that one's... Oh, it says Volvo. Yeah! It's even got a sleeper. And we'll do another delivery in this video since they're both shorter. There's no stop sign, right? I could just go through it, power through it, and cut this guy off. Nope. Oh my goodness, how did he fit through there? Oh, there's actually room there. Stop churning, assholes! I can go after the black car. Go! And we have to stop again. Oh well. At least I got somewhere. That <laughs> stopping is crazy. Stops so hard. I like it. But it's a little, it seems a little, a little too strong to be realistic. I don't know. But the thing I downloaded is that realistic physics. So I don't know. Go! Dramatic classical music. Uh, what's the speed limit through here? I just thought about that I haven't seen a sign. I mean, if I was to go 40, that seems like a pretty safe speed, right? To me, that seems like a safe speed, so I'll try to stick. There, oh, there's a sign, and it says 50. Accelerate. 50. So we got cruise control on 50. And we're good to go. Classical music blaring. No reason besides it's free. I can use it legally. 
So it's some background music because the game itself doesn't actually come with any. But you can use online radios, but I couldn't use that uh, legally and such because laws. Oh, we got mail, so we'll check that mail out. Oops. Uh, F8. Uh, uh, okay. That's not working right. Um, I'm not even looking at where I'm going. I'm lucky I haven't crashed yet. I know I can read the mail from, uh, somewhere. Mail! Here we are. Brand new Volvo trucks for sale. In some place I don't know where it is at all. Neat. This thing virtually drives itself. I haven't done anything for like the last while. Oh god, a churn. Does it churn itself? Nope, we're crossing over. Somebody's gotta churn this thing. What's the speed limit? 70! Go, go, go! Yeah, go, go, go. It's just moving like a whale, just accelerating so slowly. Oh, this is uphill, isn't it? Like, just slightly. 7-the-cruise-control-7-the-cruise-control-7-the-cruise-control-7-the-cruise-control-7-the-cruise-control-7-the-cruise-control-7-the-cruise-control-7-the-cruise-control-7-the-cruise-control-7-the-cruise-control-
I don't like him one bit. Uh-oh. The music stopped. Should be going to the next song, shouldn't it? There we go. That's Beethoven's ninth, I guess. If it's the ninth, it should have uh, opera singing or some sorts in it. If I recall correctly. I'm not sure on that. Or it could just be a, a later half of uh, Tchaikovsky that I've never heard of. I don't know. Like I said, I it was a while ago I took one music class because it was a required class. I don't remember much of it. Oh, you better speed up. I'm going to run you over. That works too. Getting out my way is the best way to do it. Uh-oh. Brakes! <laughs> Holy overkill. That's how you overkill your stopping. I just didn't expect... I don't ever expect it to stop this fast. It's absurd how fast it stops. Because it basically uses all other stuff on automatic instead of just brakes. It brakes hard. Alright, we're actually just under 100 kilometers away. That's good. And why do I still have that GPS up? Oh. Oh, whoa. This one doesn't have one of the built in GPS things. So not all Volvos do. Just the one that happened to be using did. How unfortunate. Set the cruise control, and we're good to go. You can hear the rumble strips too. If you listen, just. Uh, I'm on the rumble strips on the right side now. I'm afraid I'm going to hit something, though, so I don't want to do that too much. Alright, we're about supposedly one game hour away, so we'll be there pretty soon. I try to keep on the... I try to... Like, whenever I play a game where you have a big truck and you have to keep it in the middle of a road, I always try to keep it on the side where there's no traffic, because, you know, less damage when you hit something on on your side usually versus head on so there'll probably be a lot of times where I'm just riding the rumble strip just because I feel a little safer doing that just barely made it I would have ran you over I wouldn't have slowed down cause I would try to slow down and I'd just come to a complete stop and be like shit so it's still Tchaikovsky, as far as I know, on the radio. Unless I was wrong about what Beethoven's Ninth sounds like. I could check, you know, I'd just be like, ah, it is Beethoven's Ninth. That doesn't have an opera singing to it. Or maybe it's a different movement or something, I don't know. Or maybe it just started? Because that sounds like the intro that I would remember. Either way, free music. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that price. Like I said, I'm just going to basically go down the list. Tractor. Whoa. See, I just break so hard. I try to just tap the brake, and I'm like, whoop, stopping now, but I like it, because in an emergency, man, will it be useful. Oops. Ah, it was only a matter of time before I made a mistake. 
All right, let's see. I gotta take this a little wider. Very minor mistake, but there we go. Got through it. No damage to anything, though. That's the important part. We just kind of got bumped up on it, and it didn't do any damage. I, however, do not know the speed limit anymore. And I'm afraid to assume it's 70, otherwise I would get a ticket. And that's bad news. So I'm going to just drop my uh, speed down to 50 for now. And uh, we'll see what that does. Cruise set. And we are 25 kilometers away. Uh, it is 50, at least now, so. I made a good decision. Oh, that's why I want that uh, maximum churning speed. I had to churn tight right there, and I just, well, I didn't really make it because I was over the line a bit, but if I didn't have the maximum churn speed, it could have been duh, just bad, bad news. It'd be cool if you could stick your head out that window somehow, like, I'm a giraffe, let me just whoop. It does have opera, I told you. Opera, though. <laughs> I knew it. Free music is nice. It's better than the dead silence that would happen. Otherwise, let's go in this lane. Use my blinkers, being all legit. I don't think the game will give you a ticket if you. Do. <laughs> oh shit! No damage to anything. We're good to go. But I don't think the game will give you tickets for not using your blinker. But I try to do it when I can. Oh my goodness, I didn't even have time to get up to 70. And 50. I'm gonna have to. Stop! Damn! That freaking just crazy, man. Let's get, a, let's get a little closer on the camera. We don't need the whole. Interface, we're good with just this. Like, how close can I get? Uh, Alright, that's, that's it. I don't want to try to get any closer. Oops, what camera is that? Oh, I got room. Oh, I was just I was getting as close as I could. Oh, well. I had to stop. I was going to rear into him. And I got to keep going. Alright, I don't even remember what I was transporting anymore. How in the world am I going to? Okay. Wish me luck here. How am I supposed to park this? Like, am I supposed to just get it under that and it's good? Wow, that's it, okay. Of course I'm gonna get the parking bonus for this one. So easy. Excellent, somehow. Look at that, level two. Newbie. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? I got more experience for parking that trailer than I did for the whole thing I just did. That ain't right. Alright, we'll do another one for just in time, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. It 
unlocks delivery types, you know? Well, maybe I should do one of each so I could transport any type of cargo. That'd probably be the better way to do it. That's probably the ideal way. And then I'll do also the ADRs. Okay. And that'll do it for now. How much is a truck? I know I saw a showroom somewhere. Alright, it said I discovered one. There it is. I know it. Yeah, let's go visit him. Just to see how much it is. Alright. So they are a hundred thousand. They're about. Oh god. If you want a nice one, it's even more. That's the bottom of the barrel right there. That's a hundred thousand. Alright. That's a hell of a lot of deliveries I have to make. I wonder if that's one of the mods. Ooh. I have an email. Bank giving you money. Yeah. Might need it. Want it. Alright, so let me look at this. I'm going to try something so I'll check something. So right here you get... 4 euros per kilometer. Now I'm going to check on... A non-modded one, what you get. Just make sure it's not like some economy mod I got this screwing me up. But uh, until then, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.